two weeks. He hasn't come home yet. I told myself I wasn't going to stay up for him, but I haven't slept. I haven't slept in two weeks. My attempts to call him are in vain. His phone is always off. By now, I can't even sleep in my own bed. I find myself wandering around the apartment trying to pass the time. But when I look at my watch, not even a minute has gone by. Corners of my mind were bombarded by the cacophony of unnerving scenarios, unsettling my sanity, and driving my mind closer to delirium. My mind began to churn in such a way that I couldn't trust my own thoughts. I was obsessed over him. You dial his number a million times in one day. You call out to him. He returned nothing to me. He left me alone. In the blight of my own bedlam. I woke up. I woke up sad. It was the darkest place my mind has been in a long time. I felt this lump in my throat. I witnessed the luster of my life fade away into shades of gray while my mind anxiously gripped onto every memory I could still recall. Could I just keep my lips closed forever and just lay here? I want to take a breath, like the first breath you take after a long kiss. Daddy, no, Jackie, stop! What the fuck are you? No, what the don't fuck are you? Please, Jackie! Stop! Hi! I have pasta! Mm. You still alive? I'm not hungry. you're not. It's like you have mono, only more depressing. What if this takes forever? What do you mean? To get better. Nothing takes forever, Lane. How do you know? I mean, we die, don't we? You have such a way with words. And then one day, the cacophony silence, my mind stopped churning. I felt nothing. Last night in my sleep